first inefficient she could be seen when during my first step approach and my last step approach instead of propelling my body forward I propel my body upward which made to decelerate the movement so what I have to do is to use the movement from plantar flexion to dorsiflexion to propel myself forward and thus uh, kick the ball. My second inefficiency could be seen when on my last step approach I did not use the whole length of my stride which would negatively affect my technique. So what I have to do is to increase my the length of my strike in order to increase my angular displacement. During my back swing uh, and my super plant leg phase, I horizontally abducted my shoulders and that dragged energy from the movement. So what I have to do is like my shoulder has to stay neutral during the movement of the back swing and the super front leg. Another inefficiency that I had was that on my super plant leg phase, I put my supporting leg in front of the ball instead of putting it backwards and increasing my, my other kicking angular displacement. So what I have to do is to remind that and maintain my supporting leg backwards and next to the ball. That's where the angular displacement of the other leg can be maximum. During my backswing and my downswing, I did not move my trunk, which negatively affect my final outcome. So what I have to do is to remind that and focus on moving my pelvis anteriorly throughout those movements so I can increase my, my angular velocity and therefore I'll have a better 